So in this case, what actually I'm asking you guys to do is identify the end behavior. Now, if that's something that um, you're having a little bit of difficulty with from what we previously talked about, the main important thing I'd like you to do is what we did last class period when we were identifying if it was a polynomial or not, is find the leading coefficient and find the degree. So to do that, though, you have to have your powers in descending order. Well, you guys can see here, 4 is my highest power, right? Not in coefficients descending order, power descending order. So I'm going to rewrite this to say I have 5x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 12x minus 2. Your constant is always going to be last, because that's basically like x to the 0. So that's always last. And then you just have them descending order. Do you guys agree with me that's in descending order? Mm -hmm. So your degree is your highest power, 4. And your leading coefficient is going to be the coefficient of that exponent, which is 5. I don't know why I keep on seeing x's with that. It's the coefficient. It's the number that's being multiplied. Remember we talked about power functions, right? Yeah. Power functions. It's an exponent. Exponents have a base and a power. The base is not a part. Your constant, your number, is your coefficient, what you're multiplying your exponent by. So your coefficient is 5, not 5x. I've seen that a lot. All right, so now what we need to do is determine, is our degree even or odd? Even. even. Actually, you know what? The leading coefficient test is basically, is your degree even or odd? It's even. And is your leading coefficient positive? or negative? Positive. So all you guys need to get practice on, and this is something that you need to memorize on your own. You're not going to have access to this. So now we just need to say you can either use this chart, which I like, or you could go down to this chart where it says degree even, leading coefficient positive, and write it down. Um, but I'm going to kind of go through this one slowly. So I know that when the degree is even and the positive, the end behavior is going to be something like this. Now the graph, we don't know what the graph looks like. We just know that the graph rises left and it rises right. Basically, right? Huh? Yeah, we don't know where it is on the graph at all. We just know that as you go to the left, the graph is going to rise. As you go to the right, the graph is going to rise. But it could go like this. We have no idea what the graph looks like. The only thing end behavior tells you is when you go to the left, the graph you, tells you what the graph does. Whereas you move to the right, it tells you what the graph does. That's all end behavior tells you. However, to write it in our formation, write it in my, um, my form, you're going to write this for every problem. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches. And then as x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches either plus or minus. Actually, you know what? Let me use a different color like I did last class. Week. So the only thing new, you guys look at this notation, and it looks so crazy, right? It's like, what does all that again say? But the only thing, you guys are going to write what's in black every single time. So even if you want to get a jump start and just write everything in black first, Go ahead and do that. The only thing you're going to change is the blue part. It's the only thing you're changing. So remember, guys, when we're looking at this, let me just draw a new graph, something that looks a little bit cleaner. So you guys have a y-axis or an x-axis. We call this the y-axis. We call that the x-axis. Well, since when we're dealing with functions, remember f of x is like the same thing as y. It represent, it's still the output. Okay. So we're just using f of x instead of y. So basically, all we're saying is, as this graph, as my x-coordinates go towards negative infinity. So you guys remember, these are little points, right? Those are points. Every point has an x and a y-coordinate. You guys agree, right? So as I kind of make these little points on this graph, and they start going to positive, now they're going to negative, and they're going to keep on getting larger negative, right? The more negative, more negative. They're going to go to negative 10, negative 100, negative 1,000. As x goes to negative infinity, what is the y coordinates doing? Are those getting larger or smaller in value? Larger, larger right? It's going up. The graph is going up. So therefore, as x goes to negative, as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to 
positive infinity. Now let's look at it the other way. As my little x values go to positive infinity, what is my y values doing, or my f of x values doing? They're going to positive infinity as well. So that is the end behavior. That's it. Done. So my advice, what I like 